We're here at the 2022 St. Lucia Pole Vault Summit. Um, the objectives here actually have multiple. Uh, one of them is we want to grow the sport of track and field um, at all ages, primary school and secondary school within St. Lucia. We did this in 2019 successfully with a smaller group of secondary school students and we knew we wanted to expand into the primary school sector as well this year. Uh, we've designed essentially what's now a four-day program for the summit um, that's also attracted some interest from our friends in Martinique. Um, I believe next year when we host this we'll have four to five countries also visiting and taking part. This year there's a collaboration between Paul Vault St. Lucia and the Sports Academy to host the, the, the program um, with a little twist in that um, it has gone regional and we have uh, for the first time we have the Mac, um, a team coming out of Martinique who are participating in that summit. So at that summit they do the theory aspect of Pole Vault and they do go through the progressions at the grassroots level teaching the students or the kids uh, how to you know the basics of pole vaulting and then there's a little competition aspect to see you know how they grasp the the information that was taught Wait. the first night which was wednesday night the 19th we did a chat with champions so we brought in Dominic Johnson and we have Mickey Ferdinand um, as part of the project who's up at a scholarship at Texas A&M Commerce. Um, they've come down to support this, to speak to the kids, offer inspiration um, and frankly help coach what ends up being a lot of kids that came out today. Uh, we've reached out to the schools for uh, this aspect of the summit which is our clinic and our schools championship. Uh, we had over 100 names submitted. I haven't seen the official count today, but it's definitely two or three times what we did in 2019. Uh, and the sport is definitely growing. Uh, we've got age categories from under 12 all the way to under 20 today. Um, here at the field at the St. Lucia Sports Academy, we did an introductory clinic for really first time pole vaulters um, in all ages from grades five and six all the way through form five. Over on the main runway, um, we have two levels of competition going on. Uh, one is uh, kind of a lower level but experienced vaulters. The second competition coming up this afternoon is going to feature the best pole vaulters in the Caribbean at the junior level right now. What was um, really interesting was that um, a couple of the sessions were handled by past students of, 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 of the Sports Academy as well as one student who is currently in Form 4. So they were doing the progressions you know, from, from the basic um, grip of the pole to the plant and so on. So um, yes, it is something that we're looking forward to coming 2023, 2024. We're hoping to have more Caribbean countries participating. You know, we're looking at Dominica and um, these other countries participating fully in our summit. It's really exciting to be back on the island, giving back to the sport and seeing so many kids involved in trying a new thing. It gives me great pleasure to be a part of it and to see that there's so much young talent here. And uh, there are some kids that are ready, almost ready to make it to the next step at uh, American universities, but more importantly, getting the young ones involved like we have today. So really what we're doing is just continuing on the success that we've built. And, and when people get to know the sport more, they're gonna realize that even after Dominic Johnson retired from a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games and three Olympics, uh, we've had Rick Valson, who's gone to the Commonwealth Games. He's also been an NCAA champion. Uh, we've had Mickey Ferdinand this last summer also go to the Commonwealth Games. He's an All-American in the high jump um, at the Division II level at the NCAAs. And we're just looking to keep building on that. Jeremiah Felix is being recruited by a number of universities right now. So soon enough, he'll have his his entry to the next level, and we think he's gonna be even greater than those guys that came before him. It's an event that takes many years to master. So, uh, you know, kids who start now, really it's eight to 10 years down the line when they're gonna be jumping very, very high. Uh, so the important thing right now is to see if they have a love for the sport. When it comes to this event, now we're actually building for two, three, four, five years down the line. We'll get through the next year or two just fine, but this is really setting the foundation for St. Lucia for years to come. And really the vision behind Cobalt St. Lucia that we've had for over a decade now is when people hear St. Lucia, they think pole vault. And when they hear pole vault, they think St. Lucia. 